Okay, the figure has had time to dry, and uh, I am on to the next step, what I consider working with the beginning highlights of this figure. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to my tactical gnome. Uh, he is here because I know that he watches over me with everything I do. So uh, he's here to participate in this, and I hope you guys don't mind. So, okay, here you go. I've got a clear sheet, or a clean sheet, of wax paper. I am going to now, again, take my Vallejo Iraqi sand and use that to start applying a regular just highlight of the uniform color itself. So I'm going to take one drop of that and a trusty water bottle. I highly recommend if you guys don't have clear dropper bottles or you know dropper bottles that are used for other things, mediums, to get them. You can buy them real cheap off eBay. I know a Reaper makes them. But this Reaper, this dropper bottle is filled with water. I have dropper bottles that for my airbrush medium. Uh, I have dropper bottles for other things so that I have exact measurements. So I know exactly, you know, I've got the right dilution because dilution is a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to drop one right there. And I'm going to take my handy dandy craft brush and start mixing up the paint. And you'll see here, let me back this out a little bit if I can, move this out. You'll see, you know, this is the consistency of this right now. It's pretty wet. Okay. I am then going to take my trusty Windsor Newton Series 7. This is an, a, a one size brush. And I'm going to start applying paint on the, the areas where the light is hitting. So I'm going to get right in here. Okay, again, I have to remember that I am video videoing this. Okay, so I'm going to apply the highlights up top here. Start working there. The top of the pocket. So I'm going to I'm going slower with this now. Now James does it a different way. He'll tell you, take a filbert brush and he'll just start whapping paint all over the place. Uh, he definitely has more skill than I. Uh, so I, uh, for now, we'll use a different brush with a more of a point. I, I'm already, you should be able to see the differences in shading and highlighting. Okay. We're putting it here. Here. Now, the chest carrier itself is going to be a different color. I do not, personally, I don't paint the helmet, the chest carrier, and the weapon all the same different color. Uh, well, especially the plate carrier and the and the helmet. Um, I want to show some sort of differentiation in, in paint material because there are different manufacturers in a lot of cases, even though this plate carrier is uh, uh, modeled after uh, a particular cry uh, carrier. Um, but in any way, I want to show difference. And how do I do that? Well, I can either go darker with the color or I can go lighter. So in this case, uh, with, the, with, the, with the plate carrier, I'm going to definitely go lighter. Uh, so, and the start of it is, of course, going with uh, uh, the, the Iraqi sand. I know I'm going slower here, and I'm not talking, but I think you guys get the picture. 
as far as what I'm trying to achieve here. So you can see the difference right away. Over here, the same thing. Start working on the helmet. You know what? I'm just going to paint the helmet a different color altogether. So uh, we won't mess with the helmet. Um, paint the back here. Radio pouches. Dump pouch. So again, the idea is to apply this color where the light is hitting it. To, to start building that illusion of highlights. And in a lot of cases, I have to go over it again because the paint's thin. That's the idea. I'm not here just to, to cover the, the whole base with a highlighted color so that you lose the shadow that's underneath it. Uh, it's about going low and slow and just starting to build up highlights. Okay, I'm going to work more on the chest rig plate carrier. On the uh, pouches here. How's that looking? Yep, it's not pretty. It's not straight lines. That's okay. Right now we're still at the point where it doesn't need to be. I'm going to start getting really anal when we start getting uh, more with the, the, the highlights, even more highlights. But I'm, again, establishing quickly the base coat of what I'm wanting to achieve. And you can see the difference. Damn it. Sorry. Hope you can see the difference. I'm sure the my technical gnome doesn't approve the certain way I'm doing it, but I'll talk with him later. Okay, here. I love Windsor Newton brushes. I have had this particular one for about two years. If you take care of them, they will last for a long time. I know people bitch and complain that they cost more, but there's a difference. There just is. You can either spend more time fiddling around with a cheaper brush, uh, or you can save yourself a lot of time and do it right in most cases the first time with a better brush. It's just, I don't understand the arguments there, but I sell Windsor Newton brushes. I use them, I recommend them. Okay, so it looks like I have achieved basically what I went out to do initially with this base coat. I have now just kind of started with the base coat. However, you can see already the shades and the gradations that's been created for us. So we'll let this, uh, for this demo, I'm going to uh, let this dry real quick and we'll go to the next uh, highlight.